Hello everyone, this is Jahina Al-Kanjari, a final year computer and communication engineering student at TUD. In this video, I will talk about my final year project, which is about time reversal of game of life using artificial intelligence methods. The following topics will be discussed in this video. First, I will discuss what is Game of Life and the types of shapes in Game of Life. Then I will talk about Game of Life shapes image classification. Then Game of Life shapes object localization. At the end, I will state how I did the reversal of Game of Life using a CNN. Solar automata are discrete models that have cells inside a grid. These cells follow certain rules over time. The Game of Life is a solar automating game with zero players, and it was created in 1970 by a British mathematician called John Conway. Each cell has two states. If it is alive, then its state is 1, or if it is dead, then its state is 0. There are two types of Game of Life shapes, dynamic shapes and static shapes. There are four rules controlling each cell in the grid. The cell of interest here is the black cell. Its next state depends on the surrounding cells in red. Rule 1. A dead cell will come to life if it is surrounded by three living cells. Rule 2. A living cell survives if it is surrounded by two or three living cells. Rule 3. A cell dies or remains in state 0 if it is surrounded by only one cell due to loneliness. Rule 4. A cell dies if it is surrounded by more than three living cells due to overcrowding. Dynamic shapes are shapes that change their cell's population pattern or their positions over time. Static shapes are shapes that doesn't change their cell's population and their position over time. An example of static shapes is a block, which is a four cells population as the following. Image classification was used to classify several shapes in game of life, such as a blinker, a glider, a block and 8 up. AlexNet is a convolutional neural network that was used in this project to classify and localize shapes. AlexNet was trained for 7 hours to obtain good results. This is the training process in MATLAB. The prediction results were achieved successfully. The network was able to classify all the testing images correctly. One of the results obtained are as the following. A predicted block. A predicted glider. A predicted blinker. And a predicted tub. This is a movie of some game of life shapes being classified correctly. As you can see the green label above the image. Localization is a task that specifies the location of an object in an image by drawing a bounding box around it. Object localization technique was used to localize game of life shapes.
These are one of the results of object localization task. As you can see there is a red bounding box around each object. At the end I will talk about game of life reversal using a convolutional neural network. Specifically gliders, as the CNN needs to find the previous state of a glider from its current state. But how to achieve that? Gliders were divided into 16 classes as shown in this image. Alex Net was trained over the 16th classes. As each class has the same glider pattern. But with different positions. Each class from the 16th classes were divided into these four cycles depending on the path of each glider. Now the CNN job is to find two things. First, what is the class of the current glider? Next, what is the class of the previous glider? By using image classification task, the CNN can find the class of the current glider. So the class will be one of the 16th classes mentioned before. After finding the class name, this class name belongs to one of the four cycles mentioned before. After finding the class and the cycle of the output image which is the previous state of the current glider, the current glider image is replaced with the previous glider image. This is one of the results captured. The user asked for the two previous state of figure 1. Therefore, the previous glider of this is in figure 2. This was a brief explanation of my project. Everything in this project were met successfully and thank you for listening.